and the hand is a symbol, is the name of the city, is called Amt Werpen, hand throwing, throwing a hand. This is a story from long ago when uh, people did not want to pay taxes, just very much like today. And on the river there was a giant who stopped everybody and they had to pay taxes. And uh, Bravo was our local hero and he fought the, the giant and he cut off his hand and he threw it in the shelter. So you will see uh, a lot of, you, you can find cookies with the form, the shape of a hand. And also we have a local beer brewery called The Corning, which is selling beer. And on the logo of this brewery is also the hand. And the beer itself is called, in the, in the pub, it's called Bolleke. Bolleke Koning. And some of the cafes in the pubs have this hand before the door, above the door. With the historical facts. The building you see to your left, yellowish building, is the beginning of a tunnel for bikes and pedestrians. And they go with the elevators downstairs, below minus three or four floors, and then they cross to the other side where they can come up again. So it's a pedestrian tunnel. To your right, you see uh, that there is some uh, concrete wall. Why is that? Once every nine years, we have a very, very high tide. And our city could be flooded at that time. And then we have this concrete wall which will protect us from the water. Here, the one you see before the, the between us and the Schelde here, uh, uh, between us and the cars, there is a little wall here and that keeps us dry when there is a very high spring. And then they close the doors that you will see when this uh, parking is opening, you will see doors, they can slide and close and that will happen when there is very high tide. You see? All the vessels are going to some other country? Here is most of the cruise ships. Cruise ships. Yes, but ships. Uh, or training ships. But I don't know what the other ship is there. Uh, Actually, in this area, there's uh, normally the berth for cruise ships is uh, here because it's so close to the old city center. It's very nice and then very often we have training ships for crews that are coming and they like to stop here as well because there's a lot of night activity in the city. And I'm not sure if this is a training ship but it could be possibly one of uh, school, a schooling ship. I don't know. I don't know. So we are on the right bank, this is the right bank, the other side is the left bank. There has been some developments, you see the high rises and the apartment buildings. The concept of the left bank development to live in has been done by Corbusier. Le Corbusier was an architect, which was a French architect. He made a lot of uh, city plans, and he made also a city plan on the left bank in Antwerp. And you can already see a lot of bar uh, activity here. It's a fully loaded barge, barrack, something, maybe, maybe stone, quarry. The barge goes very fast and it can go very slow. It depends if you go upstream or downstream, there's a big difference and sometimes the time uh, changes can be several days. 
several days. But it's very dependable to have a transport organized by barge. We are very happy with barging. Uh, this Sunday we have municipal elections in Belgium. Uh, it's not like in the United States where there's presidential elections very soon, because we have no president. We have a kingdom here in Belgium. So we have a King Albert and uh, his wife Paola is from Italy. And uh, they have no political power as such. They are only representatives for uh, big celebrations. And we have a national government which is not elected this Sunday. It will be only the city and the villages that have elections. But here in Antwerp, there is a very big struggle for power. It will be very interesting. And uh, if you go to the Grand Plus and you see uh, this evening, uh, you see a lot of trucks or uh, television gathering, they prepare themselves for the election of the weekend. Because there will be direct television from Antwerp. <laughs> We are now under the old city and the very first petrol in Europe was here. And it has left a lot of polluted ground. Uh, and it moved only to the north after the Second World War. But the very first, when the very first petrol was found in Texas, it was 18, I think 1878 or something, and four years later, we had the first barrels of petroleum delivered in Antwerp. In those days, they were shipping petroleum in barrels. This train getting yeah, and they, they also there were also pipelines, but they were made from uh, what is it? Uh, pottery, pottery material. So it was not very uh, very good containment of the product. So we have had uh, quite uh, some contaminated areas in this, and we are now cleaning this up. And and the future will be to have some research development centers instead of this old petroleum site. <laughs> we are now coming at the bottom of the uh, river Schelde and we will take a tunnel under the river and come up at the left bank. It's the highway which goes to Ghent and France, actually. And then, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That is not the correct. Uh, I don't think so. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. I should have looked. Uh, yeah. He, he, he okay. makes this okay. I Yeah, 
बॉम्बे में जो टनल है ना वो चार किलोमीटर If you look uh, in front of us, you can see a part of a building where you see a lot of, uh, it's like a tent sticking out. It is our justice uh, building, our court building. Um, maybe if you come up, you can have a look. It will be to your right. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. It's very, yes, it's very, uh, it looks like tents at our building. If you can uh, see it again. There you can see it now, a little bit. This is our court building. Yes, it's very spectacular, also very nice. I thought at first that there are fighter planes. No, 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 it's not. It's, it's like not fighter planes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cor the court building, and we have there, going from the Justice of the Peace, which is a small uh, court cases up to the Court of Appeal, and we also have here in Antwerp a Afizen, which is the uh, criminal court in a case of uh, of murder, for instance. So, so now we are entering the tunnel, Kennedy Tunnel, yes. under the Schelder. Next to this tunnel, there is one other tunnel for rail traffic. But is there river uh, up, up? The river is above us now. No. And there is next to us uh, another tunnel for train. And you will see when we visit the left bank, we are investing as a port authority in another tunnel, which is higher up in uh, under the shelter as well, for rail only for transport of goods. Because the rail here between the left bank and the right bank is also for passengers and passenger trains always have priority. So we are investing more northerly into a rail tunnel that will carry only goods, a dedicated rail. So uh, this, this direction is called uh, Brugge. It's direction to Brugge. It's a city of the medieval times, which is a little bit like Venice. It's called the Venice of the North because there is a lot of little rivers in Bruges. So if you come back with your family, it's certainly worth a visit. It's a UNESCO uh, location, protected site. But unfortunately, we stay to the port area. We're not going to Brugge. And you can already see Rotterdam. Why is that? If you look on the map, you see on the top of the map is the country of the Netherlands. And from the left bank, we have a tunnel again. That's, that's here on, on the top. Okay. This tunnel, and that's the direction of Rotterdam. Okay. But the second tunnel is a toll tunnel. Bigger. And uh, you have to pay. 
sold. 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 So, and we will also take it together with your driver. So now you are entering the mall area. Industrial part of the left bank. Covid time related है. Facebook में देखा भी आपने? Covid time related क्या Facebook क्या? इसमें एक बड़ा अच्छा है. पुराने जमाने में इसमें कनिंग हीरो थे तो रॉबर्ट होते थे. रॉबर्ट वो था ना? अजीत. अजीत का नाम रॉबर्ट होता था ना? अभी तो Facebook बड़ी पुरी 